The Animal Kingdom is a wild and wonderful place filled with stunning and shocking beings. But the countless number of animals can make it hard to navigate and pick out the fascinating animals from the not-so-fascinating. If you're looking to be blown away by the natural world, then you're gonna love what we have in store for you. From boa constrictors to the pink fairy armadillo, here are 15 incredible animals you should know about. Number 15. Boa Constrictor Boa constrictors are a species of large, non-venomous, heavy-bodied snakes. They are typically found in tropical South America and some Caribbean islands. As the name suggests, they squeeze or constrict their prey to death after subduing them. Boa constrictors are considered primitive snakes because they have some ancient features which have faded in most snake species, such as legs. They have claws protruding from their underbelly, known as pelvic spurs. They use these claws to mate and whilst in combat. A snake with legs. Unbelievable. The boa constrictor was hated and viewed as jungle monsters when they were first discovered in 1758. But then, people went from avoiding the boa constrictor to hunting them and selling their skin, which could be sold as a luxury material for extravagant accessories. However, nowadays, more and more people view the snakes as pets. So much so that boa constrictors are one of the most popular snakes around the globe. Why would anyone want to own a boa constrictor, you might think? Well, they grow to an ideal size at 5 to 13 feet, and their bright and beautiful colors make them a great spectacle. Boa constrictors also have a calm disposition, which adds up to make them appealing for newbie reptile keepers and experienced herpticulturists alike. Herpticulturists are people who keep reptiles or amphibians in captivity, by the way. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. <laughs> Number 14. The Pink Fairy Armadillo this pocket-sized endangered animal resides in various parts of Argentina and other South American regions. Pink fairy armadillos have a dorsal shell that is almost completely separate from the body. This body-length shell has a pale rose appearance due to a network of blood vessels which can be seen through the transparent armor. These little animals also have the impressive ability to dig so fast that they can bury themselves in their burrow in seconds when threatened. The armor plate on their back serves as a very useful cork to tightly seal the entrance of the burrow and keep them safe. Sadly, thanks to the destruction of their habitat and domestic dog attacks, their numbers continue to fall. Another reason is the pink fairy armadillo's extreme sensitivity to changes in their environment, with them only surviving for a mere few days when out of their natural habitat. With allegedly only 100 left, they may sadly not be on our planet for much longer unless drastic action is taken. Number 13. The Paku the Paku is the name commonly given to several species of omnivorous South American freshwater Sarasalmidae fish, which also happen to be related to the vicious piranha. Paku fish have broad, flat bodies with scaly fins on their backs and tummies. They can grow up to several feet long and usually come in rather dull, solid, neutral colors like gray, white, and black. This is the biggest Paku, this is a world record Paku. The largest Paku fish ever officially caught weighed in at a huge 71 pounds. The main difference between Paku fish and their piranha cousins lies in their fearsome set of teeth. The piranha has pointed, razor-sharp teeth which are concealed in a pronounced underbite, whereas the Paku has squared and straight teeth which are shockingly similar to humans. 
The Paku also has a slight overbite, and unlike the Piranha, they do not feast on small animals, with the Paku instead choosing to spend their days calmly chewing on mainly plant material. Their diet also consists mainly of nuts, seeds, and fruits. They're also actually named after their fast eating habits. Paku is actually an old word from the Tupi Guarani languages of South America, meaning quick eater, which is directly linked to the Paku fish's ability to chew and swallow their food at a fast pace. Number 12 Angora Rabbit. Angora rabbits have so much wool that, on first glance, they look like a rabbit stuck in the middle of a white cloud. Their wool does not possess the same allergy-causing qualities as many other animals, making it an extra valuable alternative to their sheepish friends. So much so that the Angora rabbit is specifically bred for the long fibers of their coat, which are harvested by shearing, combing, or plucking the rabbit. Angora rabbits are also one of the oldest types of domestic rabbit. They mainly feast on hay and live between 7 to 12 years, depending on how well you take care of them, of course. Angoras are intelligent, gentle rabbits who love to play, especially, rather bizarrely, with cat toys. They like cuddling up to their owners, but also hate being picked up, allegedly. They also tend to become aggressive when frightened. However, they are only 2 kilograms in weight, so their tantrums should be easily managed and cute. Did you know that rabbit fur takes a long time to dry, and if left wet, they can easily get hypothermia even on warm days? Number 11. The Slow Loris I feel like the slow loris is kind of like a marmite-like animal. You either find their large, staring eyes endearing and affectionate, or you're completely put off and get serious Cheshire cat creepy vibes. Whichever, it is undeniable that they are fascinating to look at. Their arms and legs are nearly equal in length, and their torso is long and flexible, which has the great benefit of allowing them to twist and stretch out to nearby tree branches to climb across. To. Whilst they may look relatively harmless, the slow lorises have a toxic bite, a trait which is very rare among mammals and even rarer amongst primates. The secret to their venomous bite is the licking of a sexual gland on their arm. You heard that right. The toxin from this sexual gland is then mixed with saliva. The slow loris uses this nasty bite of theirs to scare away predators, and they even apply the toxin to the fur of their young when grooming. Sort of like a venomous armor against predators. Through venturing out at night, the slow loris avoids many predators, and if threatened by one on their travels, one tactic is to stay terribly still in a tree for an extended period of time. They stay so still, in fact, that to the naked eye, they practically vanish into the darkness. They're kind of like beady-eyed ninjas, then. Number 10. Blue Dragon. The Blue Angel Sea Slug looks more like a Pokemon character than a Sea Slug. The Blue Angel, or Glaucus Atlanticus, are pelagic. This means they float upside down by using the surface tension of the water where they're pleasantly carried along by the ocean currents sounds quite peaceful. Their beautifully blue appearance is more than just a pretty sight. This look has the added benefit of helping the blue angel to blend in with its tranquil blue water surroundings and hide from their flying and swimming predators. When it's dinner time, the blue angel has a particular taste for large, venomous prey such as the Portuguese man o' war and the blue button jelly. Remarkably, when they consume their prey's stinging cells, they store them in their body to use against predators later. They might not look too fearsome, but a sting from a blue angel sea slug can be fatal to some humans if allergic. For those that are not allergic, they still give off a very painful sting. Maybe just appreciate them from a distance if you ever come across one then. Number 9. Bearded Vulture You've probably heard of a bearded dragon, but what about a bearded vulture? Well, the bearded vulture is quite the animal. Not only is it the Alps' largest bird, but it also holds the title of the rarest raptors in Europe. 
With a fiery appearance of wild feathers in shades of red and white, the bearded vulture is quite the spectacle to look at. They don't have the greatest of reputations, however, mainly due to their questionable diet. The bearded vulture has been thought to carry away lambs, calves, and even children. Whilst this is a disputed claim, being associated with such brutal acts hasn't been great for the vulture's PR or public image particularly towards farmers and local townsfolk. As if this elegant bird couldn't get any more intimidating, the bearded vulture feasts on a diet consisting of mainly bone marrow and bone. With a really low pH balance of 1, the acidic stomach acid of a bearded vulture can digest their heavy meal in under 24 hours. They've even been known to have favorite spots called ossuaries, where they carry their meal of turtles and lizards to tremendously high heights and drop them to break them apart. One reason for their fall in numbers is their bad reputation paving the way for them to be hunted frantically, with there even being a bounty for each bearded vulture killed in the Alpine region. Number 8. Giant Isopod Giant isopods aren't the cutest of crustaceans if I'm being perfectly honest, but they are no doubt impressive. They are distantly related to shrimps and crabs, which are decapods. Although the giant isopod looks more related to a huge cockroach or wood louse. They are in plenty full supply if you were to venture down to the cold, deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Typically, giant isopods are between 4.5 and 14.2 inches in length, but they have the potential to get much bigger. Unbelievably, someone pulled a 2.5 foot long giant isopod from the sea in 2000. 2010. Now that is certainly a giant isopod. It is believed that they grow to large sizes to adapt to the extreme pressure of living at the bottom of the deep ocean. They are usually found 550 to 7,020 feet deep under the sea in the clay or muddy seabed. Whilst they might look pretty harmless, they are actually carnivores. They may not exactly chase after antelope, but they do feast on dead animals which drift down towards them from above. Sort of like a food care package. There is evidence, however, that they might eat slow-moving animals like sponges and attack trawl catches. They don't need to be that great of hunters, thanks to their remarkable ability to go extended periods without eating. One giant isopod in Japan went five years without eating a single bite of food. Now that's what I call an extreme diet. Number 7. Saharan Silver Ant The Saharan Silver Ant is far from a regular ant. Found in the Sahara Desert due to the ant's strong and sturdy exoskeleton, they can survive a fall from any height and suffer no damage as a result. If they fell from the top of a building, it would have the same effect as if it had fallen a few centimeters off the ground. Thankfully, there aren't many tall buildings to fall off of in the Sahara Desert. They are also, in fact, the fastest ant species out of the 12,000 on the planet. With a scintillating velocity of 855 millimeters per second, that equates to traveling its own length 108 times per second. If you don't think that's impressive, then you oughta. This blistering pace is only beaten by two other creatures, the Australian tiger beetle and the California coastal mite. The Saharan silver ant travels at the pace of a walking human being. If they weren't so tiny and were, in fact, the size of a six-foot human, they would travel at a speed of about 200 meters per second. That's equivalent to running the 100-meter sprint in half a second. That would certainly make Usain Bolt's record look amateurish, to say the least. Number 6. Axolotl the axolotl is a hilariously strange looking fish, which is a neotenic salamander, which is also related to the tiger salamander. They are also a strange bunch when compared to other amphibians. 
Unlike other amphibians, the axolotl does not go through a metamorphosis before reaching adulthood. Instead of developing lungs and taken to the land, the adult axolotl is happy to remain aquatic and gilled. They are certainly funky looking fellas, with pink strands protruding from either side of their head, making them resemble a clown. Whilst they look pretty friendly, you can actually also hold an axolotl in your hand, unlike other fish. This is because other fish have a sensitive protective layer, whereas an axolotl does not. Despite this, they are still very sensitive. So delicate, in fact, that they should only really be handled when necessary, such as when moving them from tank to tank. They may sound delicate, but an axolotl can actually regenerate almost every part of their body, including parts of their brain. Axolotls can achieve this because of the fascinating way they react to an injury. Whereas humans cover their injuries in skin tissue, axolotls transform their nearby cells to stem cells, forming bones, skins, and veins in their exact original state. Even the smartest doctors on the planet are still baffled as to how they achieve this. What a clever little fish. Number 5. Pit Viper Pit vipers sound deadly, and that's because they are. A subfamily of venomous vipers found in Eurasia and the Americas, they are identifiable by the presence of a heat-sensing pit organ located between the eye and the nostril on both sides of the head. These pit organs give them the remarkable advantage of allowing the snake to detect infrared radiation from a body up to one meter away. When the sun goes down, the benefits of this organ really starts to become apparent. Through the organ, the pit viper can effectively see their prey in the dark, kind of like how an infrared camera does. It's amazing, kind of like a real-life version of the alien from the Alien Hollywood movie series by Ridley Scott. Vipers can also extend their fangs and bite without injecting venom. This is known as a dry bite. They use this method to conserve precious venom, which can run out and take a while to replenish. This doesn't stop the pit viper from being responsible for more than half of all venomous bites. Their bites can lead to infection, amputation, and in worst cases, death. Damn, it would seem that pit vipers aren't a fan of giving out dry bites then. Number 4. The Indonesian Mimic Octopus The Mimic Octopus spends its days lurking in the Indo-Pacific waters. Whilst many animals mimic either their environment or other animals to avoid predators, the Mimic Octopus and its close relative, the Wonderpus, actually impersonate a number of venomous or bad-tasting creatures to deceive and elude predators instead. They alter their color and behavior to impersonate as many as 18 different sea creatures, including jellyfish, sea snakes, flatfish, and lionfish. Take the sea snake, for example. For this act, the mimic octopus would slide into a hole in the ocean's bed and stick out only two of its arms. They would then ripple them in the water, sneakily mimicking a snake's movement in the ocean's current. They are mindful of who their audience is, as they only reenact a sea snake, for example, when bothered by a damselfish, which are, of course, preyed on by sea snakes truly fascinating and intelligent creatures. They kind of remind me of the Boggart from Harry Potter, which is able to transform into one's worst fear at a moment's notice. Number 3. Amazon River Dolphin Thousands of miles of rainforest are covered in water every year when the Amazon River fills and spills over thanks to heavy spring rainfall. Whilst this might be annoying for everyone else, one creature, which certainly loves the extra room, is the Amazon River Dolphin. The Amazon River Dolphin is the largest species of river dolphin, with adult males reaching a whopping 185 kilograms in weight and coming in at a hefty 2.5 meters in length. They are also known as the Pink River Dolphin due to the rosy tint adults take on, giving them the same complexion of candy floss. Due to the belief that the pinkness is due to scar tissue from rough games or fighting, the coloring of a dolphin is a key way of finding a mate. Those that have a brighter blemish of pink are atop of the chain when mating season comes swinging around, and everyone else is scrambling to attract a female mate. 
Whoever said pink wasn't manly must be really eating their words now. When trying to impress a potential mate, the river dolphin also peculiarly picks up and shows off a live turtle in a bid to impress the ladies. How romantic. Number 2. Ely Pika If you're a fan of hamsters and tiny mammals, then you should get to know the teddy bear-faced Ely Pika. These tiny balls of fur roam the mountains of northwestern China and are only 8 inches long with large ears and several spots in its gray fur. They were only discovered less than 40 years ago in 1983, and in one of the longest games of hide-and-seek of all time, the small mammal, which has been coined a magic bunny by some, wasn't seen again since its discovery in the 80s until 2014. Jokes aside, this is a terrible sign that the population is declining and faces the real threat of extinction, with approximately fewer than 1,000 left. Their diet consists of grass, herbs, and other mountain plants. And like other mountain-dwelling creatures, the Ely Pika is sensitive to changes in its environment, which means that climate change is probably a contributing factor to their eventual wipeout. Amazingly, there have only ever been 29 confirmed sightings of the Ely Pika. Number 1. Basilisk Lizard the basilisk lizard is one remarkable and viral famous animal, coming in various shades of red, green, blue, brown, yellow, and black. These predators fill their appetite in the wild with mostly winged insects. When in pursuit of their prey, the basilisk lizard runs on its back legs across the surface of water through trapping pockets of air beneath their long toes and fringes of skin and through using their tail for balance. This peculiar, gravity-defying stunt hasn't gone unnoticed, with many people online hilariously nicknaming it the Jesus Lizard after videos of the act were circulated. This cunning lizard also uses the trick to escape from predators themselves. If the basilisk lizard should get fatigued and fancy a rest on their sprint across the water from a predator, they can simply dive underwater to evade their enemies. With a reported talent for staying underwater for up to 20 minutes, this reptile certainly has a bag of tricks up their sleeve. Imagine hunting down your prey to the side of a pool of water thinking you finally caught them, only for them to run across the water like a jet ski. You could only laugh. Which of these animals really amazed you? Do you own any unusual pets that rival any of the animals listed? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!